Hi all, Jin here and I'm back with my first how to play of the BTLD era. I will be going over Amade Lion's kit, EX Plus and LD and my thoughts and recommendations while taking them into the event challenge quest afterwards. As usual in the pinned comment are the timestamps for easy navigation as well as a link to my full playlist for all the how to play vids I've done. If you haven't seen how my pools went, go check it out. Round 4 pool battle with Resforna, his link is in the description. Definitely an enjoyable watch I think. So for this new era, inspired by the Toneberry Troop's amazing new LD and BT infographics, I am going to also be taking a slightly different approach on my how to plays, a more simplified version if you will. It will be less time consuming for me and less information overload for you, since for any character you pull nowadays, for them to be usable in the hardest content you do need to 3-3 them and have their LD if they have one. So I'm not going to go over budget investments or recommendations anymore regarding that and all the characters I cover will assume the maxed weapons and boards and so that it will just give a better understanding of what all the skills do at their best without listing how everything improves from a 3-3. So if you're curious what each limit break of the EX Plus gives, you can check out the Dissidia DB by Rem. It's always a fantastic resource for information so definitely go check it out and support it. Just some general things to keep in mind, supports generally fare better than a DPS at budget so if you're thinking about doing a budget character, the supports generally will be more useful. And any newly reworked or released character, even a DPS, especially if they have some utility, can be used at a budget for power crept content, for example. Ami is not going to need her LD to destroy some of the earlier content, that's for sure. Alright now onto Ami Dead Lion's base kit. Their skill 1, Comet, is a 6 brave HP attack with 160% overflow and 50% splash. Grants them the unique buff Yuke's Hope for 6 turns that gives them an attack up 50%, max brave up 60%, and a party brave regen of 60% eye brave along with 5% eye brave up. It also inflicts to all enemies a unique turn rate down debuff of 20% for 6 turns. With Yuke's Hope buff active, they receive a Brave Plus Plus, which is a gravity effect that reduces enemy Brave by 75% with a Brave gain of 130% of Eye Brave and an HP Plus Plus with a gravity effect of 50% enemy Brave and a Brave gain of 80% Eye Brave with 120% overflow into an HP attack that batteries all allies by 50% HP damage dealt. Their skill 2, Mega Flare, first deletes the targets next turn, this is a single target mind you, into a 6 AoE Brave split HP attack with 210% overflow. It inflicts to all enemies 2 unique debuffs of 20% speed and 20% defense down for 6 turns. Their EX ability at EX plus 3-3, Yukish Ultima, will do a 8 AoE Brave, 100% AoE HP attack with 160% overflow and a Brave refund of 30% HP damage dealt. They will also receive an increased overflow depending on the number of debuffs with up to 50% with 6 debuffs for a total of 210% overflow. Their LD ability, Crystal Idol, is 100% gravity meaning it reduces all enemy brave to zero and batteries the party by 80% max brave with 150% overflow into a 100% AoE HP attack. It inflicts a unique eye brave debuff of 20% and grants one stack of the unique buff Resurrection for 12 turns. Resurrection is a party aura buff that increases party eye brave, party brave regen, and party overflow gained with 3 stacks max. Depending on the amount of stacks, there's a minimum of 20% party eye brave and brave regen at 1 stack and a max of 40% at 3 stacks. And a minimum of an additional 10% overflow gained at 1 stack and a max of 20% at 3 stacks. Their bloomed additional ability will cover one use of both skill 1 and skill 2 while granting a party brave regen of 40% eye brave for 9 turns and this will be on top of their already granted Brave regen for the party. Their E Sphere gives an additional 3 turns of Brave regen at 10% Eye Brave after inflicting a debuff, so it's great for them as another 10% on top of everything else since it's able to proc constantly for the most part. Or if you want them to inflict 5 total debuffs, you can add a debuff E Sphere because each debuff does increase their EX damage and they'll become almost another Kefka, although personally I'm avoiding that since that's what makes Kefka a hassle to pair with other debuffers. For their A and C spheres, anything that boosts attack, max brave, or eye brave is fine. Just make sure they can proc it and proc it consistently. As in don't put a C sphere that requires healing because they do have no healing. For arts, go with 108 times 3 first to maximize their brave damage hits from their two skills in EX. Then I think you're okay to go with either a 330, C50, or 170 as secondaries. 330 to increase their LD battery and damage thresholds, especially on their 100% AoE HP damage skills. 170 to improve their Brave regen along with their gains on HP++ and Brave++. And C50 to have a mix of both worlds since it increases Brave and I Brave by 5%. My Ami is accidentally completely balanced here if I were to equip the 108-170, but since this is a boosted event, I do lean towards maximizing Max Brave first. So how to play Amade Lion? 
Well, it really depends on how the fight starts. For example, the Cosmos fight, you don't want to open with their LD, and the skills are just plenty fine for taking care of trash waves. Save the LD for when it's time to get serious. So for the Chaos fight, when there are just two boss waves, you do want to start out with the LD, get their LD buff up, and delete the enemy's first turns, so that you can just start smashing them right away. After that, it's really situational on when to use their skills. Skill 1 is primarily the skill you'll be using for Brave Shaving, a single target, and upkeeping their unique buff. Skill 2 should be more conservative with and use only when in need of deleting a single target's turn and or AoE Brave Shaving when the EX is not up. Keep in mind their AA does recover a use of both abilities. Their EX can be used pretty much anytime it's up since it does Brave Refund plenty of Brave to prevent Ami from getting broken unless you really need to delete some turns or Gravity Shave. Keep in mind that both their HP++ and Brave++ are gravity based with no Brave hits. Their HP++ is amazing for battering the party if they're filled with Brave and or prevent other party members from getting broken, since it does have a 50% battery from HP damage dealt, which is a fantastic amount. Use the Brave++ when you're in serious need of shaving with their Brave hits from skills not doing enough damage and you don't want to use the LD, since it is 25% more Brave shave than the HP++. The LD can be an emergency Brave shave in need, but it does delete their turns anyways, so it's just mainly for refreshing the LD buff. Since there's only 3 uses, so use it wisely, but if the fight is going well, do not be afraid to use the last one early enough so that you will maximize their stacks for the best party auras for the rest of the fight. One important thing to note, you do not need to refresh the LD buff to retain the stacks. If you really don't want to use their LD at the time the buff runs out, you can hold on to it for the next turn or so, but do get it back up sooner rather than later for the party auras. Small note on how to run an Ami friend, pretty much just bring them out when you want to start deleting turns. Open up with the LD and then make sure you use all their LD ability uses before they leave with the skill 2 somewhere in between. Okay, so onto their cons. They will never be at full power until their final LD ability use. So primarily just at the end of battles will they have their max party auras from the 3 stacks. Both their HP++ and Brave++ lacking Brave hits could force you to use a skill to break, and their strongest Brave shaming skill, their EX, is quite slow. Their insane amount of unique debuffs at 4 total is a double-edged sword, it's great for preventing enemies from buffing themselves, but they're not potent enough to warrant taking most of the debuff slots if you're running them with other debuffers. And that's pretty much it, which leads me to their pros. Taking up all those buff slots from bosses away is great when you don't have another debuffer on your team. They're an utter force of boss destruction. The sheer ability to just wipe an enemy's turn off the map, or all the enemies with the LD, just clears a path for your whole team to do what they need to do and no other unit has such an ability. While they can't be classified as a support exactly since they'll need supplemental auras from another support, what they do bring is pretty decent and just purely auras. Attack up 30% and up to 45% eye brave up and brave regen of up to 100% eye brave with an overflow gain of up to 20%. And if you put their sphere on them, it's an additional 10% brave regen and when they have their AA up, it's an additional 40% brave regen for 9 whole turns. So that's, that's a lot of brave regen. And although technically they're limited to just 36 turns of their LD buff, their longevity is still amazing due to an amazing HP++, high amount of skill 1s along with a C65 with ability refresh, that HP++ battering your party for 50% HP damage dealt, if they have enough brave regen coupled with another support, can sustain themselves pretty easily just off of that. But they also bring decent damage with their skill 1 having high brave hit count with splash and their skill 2 also a high hit count with high overflow and aoe brave shave and split hp attack aside from deleting the target's turn as well their ex is 100 percent aoe hp damage dealt with the possibility of 230 percent overflow and also brave refunds to prevent breaks the ld is similarly is 100 percent aoe while also battering the party and is 100 percent gravity while deleting all the enemy's turns the fact that their kit has gravity lends themselves to great shaving when brave reduction is an issue. So my final thoughts on Amandate Lion, they're by far the best friend unit out there right now. But still a damn great unit for your party as well. The only issue is playing nice with other debuffers that have more than 2 debuffs. But otherwise they would take any unit that has 2 debuffs since their EX does more damage with 6 debuffs. And they don't take up any buff slots on the party with only 2 unique ones on themselves. They give some decent auras for what they do, run them with an Aphmau, and damn, that's some insane brave regen. I'm a deadline can just HP++ for days. Run them with other delayers or a Parahax person like Raijin, and bosses will never be able to do a damn thing. It also works with units that speed up your team and or slow down the boss's turns, since with boss turn deletion, the less frequent their turns are, the more value turn deletion becomes. Run them with launchers like Kais and you'll have zero issues setting up the most ridiculous launches. And with neither LD, HP++ or Brave++ doing Brave hits, they can be paired nicely with units who like breaks, especially like Lightning or Aranea who also delay. 
They're terrible though with units that want bosses taking turns, like 8 or Eldnarsh. So Eldnarsh is not a good friend unit with your Ami unless you're switching your Ami out. But boy, running double Ami date lines is too crazy. If you want to just see boss turns go bye bye, have your own and bring out a friend Ami. Goodness gracious, I can see why they have challenge quests not allowing friends because that just is not fair. And speaking of challenge quests, it's finally high time I try this. I am going to try a budget team to start out again since of course I am going to have to try. But this time since I have the featured character fully built, I figure it must work better. So here is my 1-3 Lael and 0-3 Deuce hoping that I made that line can carry them. So this will be my first attempt. I did do the normal chaos obviously so I do know what to expect. So let's just hope that they can carry. I also only have character boards for Amidate Lion, obviously. And we're gonna go ahead and open up with the LD since this is a boss wave. I like to put my LD ability on the second slot of the second phase because I'm used to the AA already being there on the first slot. Now let's go ahead and get down Lael's debuffs. And let's get all our buffs up. I didn't bother getting uh, Deuce's Bloom. And we don't need to delete any turns for now, let's just go ahead and splash. And let's just HP plus with the battery. It's been a long time since I've used Deuce actually. And yeah, let's just break an order. Oh, wonderful, Leo. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, let's get the launch. Get some score boosting going on. And let's go ahead and just HP plus. I'm just gonna make sure she uh, has enough juice. We do need to AoE shave here because we don't have any healers. He's gonna HP attack. Let's go with that skill two here. Delete the main guy's turn, we can deal with the little guy, no problem. And Deuce shouldn't get broken here, so we'll just go with the B again. Let's go ahead and skill 2. This will get my EX up. And battery. Look at all that battery. Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and get his aura up. This is not going to be a good launch, but okay. He'll take the break as well. Oh, yeah, I have her EX. I forgot to put it on the proper page. I completely forgot I even have her EX. It's been so long since I used her. A good launch. I'm saving all my delays for the uh, the last wave. This guy should be no big deal. I don't think this is gonna battery us enough. I'm just gonna not get broken by her. So she can catch everybody at least.
We can HP plus now. And we can shave them. Should be able to shave them. And get my butt back up also. Ah, shaved them enough. And uh... Can you break Lael? I wonder. Let's go ahead and use this. Make sure he breaks. And uh, yeah, that works out. Let's go ahead and uh, splash damage. Perfect. We just focus on the main dude. She's obviously not very good in launches. That's a only 9k damage worth of launching. Let's go ahead and battery everybody and get the buffs up. Battery everyone else and get my EX up. Alright, well, should be able to break him here, I'm hoping. Deuce and Lail together. Yep, she has her EX up, so that's perfect. I, I hate the EX on the second page. I have no idea when it's coming up. I almost want to restart this run just to move it. Perfect. I will take this. You didn't die. Alright, you die now. Good thing those ads I don't have to kill after like the cursed challenge quest number one. Plus they're not even close to as tanky either. Alright, let's go ahead and get down the debuffs. Let's refresh my LD now. Goodbye to their turns. Go ahead and battery. Battery everybody. And Leo can do some launching. So everything we do, they delay one turn, which is kind of sucky. Um, I want to save that launch. Or, this is the only thing that batteries. Yeah, let's save it. I'll use Deuce's skill too. Oh yeah, she gets delayed, so it doesn't really matter. Let's battery Leo. Wow. I didn't see the launch, I thought went away. But only she's just bugged or something. Okay then. This will get my EX up. Save Leo from getting broken as well. Now let's do some launching, shall we?
EX is up. It's nice to have her EX. I did win it before, but... I already had Ace. It wasn't worth chasing for me. Timing for the shave. It's kind of interesting that her EX actually doesn't give her any buff. It's just a, an ability that she uses. Just go ahead and battery everybody. That'd be nice. That's a perfect launch. We got time to shave him, so that's fine. Let's just go ahead and rebuff. Um, I don't want to get broken though, so I'm just going to use Concerto. Rebuff that way too. And we'll just do HP plus here. No, we have enough skills, looks like. That's some pretty poor shaving though. Gonna need to uh, delete some turns here and shave at the same time. Wow, couldn't even shave them down. That's some serious brave reduction. That's what they're pushing her gravity kit for. Gonna save that launch and not take the break here. Oh, there's the launch, perfect. Obviously her HP++ is great for launches, that's why she's actually really good with Kais. It's also, outside of clearing room for him, she can just HP++ and battery. Let's do some launching. I'm not going to get broken. I'm going to catch everyone too because I'll be last, so... Buffs are already out here. My Yuke's Hope buff. Yeah, I'm going to have to use a skill one after this. So this is going to be a problem, but let's go ahead and use this skill too. Look at that brave damage. Can't even see the launch with her, it's bugged. I just assumed it was there. Oh boy. Let's go ahead and delay them. Hmm. Get my debuffs off as well. 
Oh shoot, my EX is up. But my use hope is not. Um I kinda wanna try shaving them without it. And if it doesn't work, we'll just go into summon. Ah, strong enough. Good for you. Good for you. Now, will I take this HP hit? That's gonna be a lot though. I still don't want to take the HP hit exactly. So what I'm gonna do is just summon anyways. Yep. We got a good launch going anyways. Also, the Brave Reduction is not going to make hitting these guys very uh, good, so I do need my buff up though. That Brave Reduction is crazy. Boy. We don't have any uh, battery for this launch either. I'm going to go ahead with a skill 2 instead. I think that's launch that person's launchable, so I'm gonna ignore that. Wow my X is almost up, but it's okay. Maybe I should use Concerto. Here now it's launchable for sure, and this is when I use my LD for the last time. Big launch. Three forty seven K. Very nice. And I'm going to save that EX again. Ah, or no, we'll just use it and they'll they can brave attack. Gosh, that brave reduction is crazy. Now this person should be launchable. Yep. Why you bug dudes? Why is there so many people that are bugged that can't see the launch? This error, Kate said, seems to be supports that have that issue. I think it's time I start spamming some skills because they are dying. So let's just start deleting their turns. Although, we kind of want them to come out. Yeah, we want them to come out of their shells before we start deleting their turns. Because this brave damage is kind of insane. But she is strong. And let's go ahead and battery. Lail. Is that enough? Maybe it's not enough. Oh, perfect miss. I'll take that. Yep, that's fine. We can live with that. Now we can delete your turns. Wow, having the featured character really does help a lot. I mean, I do have the EXs of the other two as well, but still. I'm assuming this is launchable. I also forgot I get delayed by doing an AA. Let's go ahead and uh... This works out. Get delayed again. And now Leo can take care.
Wow, I have a lot of skills left. I did not expect. Having the featured character does wonders. I want more Brave for Earth to do more damage. Uh, yeah, we're deleting turns now. My Yuke's Hope will be going down next. I don't want to delete their turn. It's okay. Get my buff back up first and launch him. Let's not kill B. Keep them alive so that they don't enrage. I think they enrage. Let's not take this break. And I jump up, which is perfect. Well, I get delayed too. <laughs> so well. Uh, oh well. Beautiful. Okay, this person is dead, and I have way too many skills. I thought it was gonna be harder than this. I mean, to be fair, I do have the featured characters LD as I mentioned, but still, let's launch for for fun. This is probably much more difficult without I'm a dead lion. But this is obviously very budget friendly if you do have her built. I have literally only one ingot in Lael and Zero induce no character boards for either and Lael you can probably get away with Zero 3 but I do like his uh, HP++ plus plus and very plus plus from 1-3 that's why I did make him 1-3 a while back. So I fortunately did not have to invest any more resources outside of I'm a dead lion. And I'm going to change Deuce's EX ability order right now. And show you my arts as well. I think most people you pulled on me, so hopefully you know that this is uh, a decent enough team to run with her. Because, yeah, she's just that strong and the delay and the... You want Deuce for the support, that's generally the easiest, but also Garland is synergy. If you have his LD, I'm sure it helps. I put her own sphere on her, and these are my eyes for now. Probably I will go 108, 170 outside synergy, I'm not sure yet. I do want to see, it depends on the team, if I want more eye brave regen or not, or do I want more max brave. These are very good. You do want triple C50 with Deuce first. 108, 330 is the secondaries you want. Leo is also pretty good. Well, that's an understatement. He's pretty much perfect. So, those are my arts. But I had so much turns to work with. I finished that in 66 turns with so many skills left. You could have spammed a lot more than I did. I was using a lot of HP pluses, but also for the battery. The battery is very useful. So sometimes for the launching, the battery was more preferred than a skill one from Ami anyways. And just make sure you don't take HP damage because you do have no healers, but you do have delayers. So that's the reason that even though we have no healers, it's possible. And you can see that the snails were very HP attack list friendly. So they did make it doable. So best of luck to everyone. And I hope this helps you understand a little bit more of how broken Ami the Lion is with her deletion of skills. And imagine if I had the friend one, you just bring her in and then boom, all their turns just go away. They just melt. All right. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.